Lesnar with the elbow. You can feel the electricity. Looking good here. Or bad, depending on who you're rooting for. Charlotte is... Charlotte with the spear. I knew it was only a matter of time. If an opponent exhibits a weakness for a specific move, some will return to utilizing that move as long as possible. She's starting to feel it. But you can bet there's still plenty of gas left in her tank. At this point, I think it's fair to call into question her preparation for this match. She's clearly being outclassed right now. Just go for the finisher already. I don't understand the delay. The object is to win the match, isn't it? Come on, let's go. Charlotte sure dodged that one. She did indeed. As Corey continues to criticize the action in the ring, allow me to take the other side of the argument. The last thing any superstar wants to do is go for the finisher prematurely. No good can come of that. Yeah, you really want to wait for the exact right time. If you go for it and miss, that could be the momentum shift your opponent has been waiting for. Oh no, we've got a problem here, guys. No kidding, who knows what will happen next? Oh man, she's rolling now. Caught with the elbow. Right on the jaw. Bang, right to the face. Oh, that's one way to bring it to her opponent. Big time. Looking for an opening for that finisher, it seems, and that's a smart move. Just hit the finisher, get the win, and get out of there. Oh, the back took the brunt of that one. Second time to charm. Oh, what a kick! Anytime a superstar sees an opening for their finisher, they gotta take it, as Byron was saying. Elongating the match not only gives your... She shows signs of life. She's showing a lot more than that. Look at her go. Attacking the neck region. Mandy Rose has been successful in WWE, but she also has the less than honorable distinction of being the first person eliminated in both the inaugural Women's Royal Rumble and Women's Elimination Chamber. Mandy Rose is not playing any games tonight. Everyone better watch out. Even me! That's all she wrote, fellas. This is exactly what Mandy Rose was waiting for. Oh, no. She's in a bad way now. She goes for the cover. Michael brought up Mandy Rose's lack of success in the Royal Rumble and the Elimination Chamber, but I have to say she didn't have the luck of the draw in either case, drawing spot number four in the Rumble and being the first person out of a pod in the Elimination Chamber. Saxton, quit judging Mandy Rose. Only God can judge Mandy Rose, and she's been deemed God's greatest creation. Mandy Rose was the victim of a conspiracy at the Royal Rumble and Elimination Chamber, but she got those bad entrance numbers. Done. She goes for the cover. One! Charlotte gets the shoulder up. Not even close. Oh no. Byron, she has no idea where she is right now. And I assure you, the top of that turnbuckle is not where you want to be when you're in this kind of condition. And she goes down hard. That'll leave a mark. Larian! And it's Charlotte with a reversal! There's a reason why she's genetically superior. 
Charlotte is measuring. Look out. Charlotte is measuring. Natural selection. That's it. That's what she needed. We've got a cover. The cover, and this one's history. What a win. These women put on quite a show. Here's another look. I don't like to throw around a lot of praise, but my eyes tell me that might have been one of the great matches in recent WWE history. Hope everybody at home set those DVRs because that was a match you're going to want to watch again and again and again. Epic. When any superstar, man or woman, is able to find a way to win a match as entertaining and action-filled as that one, they should be grateful and really proud. Some great stuff. three count ends this one and there's your winner folks oh yeah it's charlotte standing victorious all hail the queen and that'll do it here for this one-on-one -on -one match i hope you enjoyed it as much as this live crowd appears to have enjoyed it